good fucking morning. I know this uh, episode is long overdue. Um, I don't have a particular topic today, do I? I don't think I have a particular topic. I feel like I do, but <laughs> somebody gonna feel like I'm throwing shots at them, so it's like. Yeah. Whatever. So anyway. Um last night, yeah, I don't I don't know if I have a particular topic. So if this video if this particular episode seems all over the place and different from the others, please excuse me. Because the the two things that I want to talk about it's going to cause trouble. Like somebody will call my phone. Not somebody. Uh, maybe two different people will call my phone. Maybe three. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I don't know if I feel like dealing with that right now. So, I think I'll just tell you. Just talk, basically. Um, so, today is Sunday, February 5th. 4th, February 4th, um, and last night I went out, I went on a date, um, basically for the first time, um, since I'm not with the old boy no more, and it's early and I'm not trying to get into anything with anybody. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to teach myself how to uh, just date and just date. That's it. I have a habit of, like, when I meet a man, if me and him get along or he's cool or I like A, B, and C about him, it always turns into a relationship. And I don't have, I, I'm not going to say I don't have my discernment when it comes to, like, just dating, openly dating, dating multiple people at one time. I just, it's hard for me because I'm an all in or all out type of person. Um, so yeah, last night I went on a date. The issue is the person I went on a date with also seems to have the issue of being an all in or all out type of person. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work because this man is like, diving head first and I'm just like please um so I figured I'd tell you about the date that's what I could do and then just go from there for this video so basically um I met this person and they're not from this country um which I prefer um I'm not gonna go get into the topic of black men but I feel like I've decided that they just not for me like black African, I mean, black um, American men are just not for me. Um, like, we can get along, but I feel like there's this competition between who could be more feminine or do more feminine type of shit when you're dating a black American man. You know what I'm saying? They have feminine energy when you're dating them and then they get mad that you have masculine energy it's like they bicker with you it'd be it, it's just shit it's it's hard it's not that it's hard to explain it's just too much to explain and i really don't feel like explaining it so i noticed that when i date a man that's not from this country he doesn't do that he doesn't get mad at simple things he doesn't get mad that you're doing shit that women do <laughs> you know what i'm saying like Yesterday, I was on a date with this man, and he was not bothered. <laughs> there were certain things that I, I did or said, and he didn't take it up the ass. He didn't get irritated by it. He, his, he was very sure of himself. You know what I'm saying? Um, And I didn't feel... Because sometimes when you're talking to somebody, you f it's, it's like a... A combative energy you could tell that the person is going to be argumentative and he doesn't have that energy about him 
He has very much, like, even if y'all are having a disagreement, he has very much, he's going to keep cool and calm. He's, he's, he's going to be reasonable and rational and able to talk to you without fueling the fire, so to speak, you know? So, um, it's early, so I can't really say if that's really how he is or not, but he definitely, um, has that energy so far. So, um, yeah, I, 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 like I said, I had posted a vlog and I said that I would have to tell him like, Hey, I just got out of something, blah, blah, blah. So I told him that last night again, like I reiterated, but I don't think he's really getting the point. <laughs> I think he's just diving head first, so I have to. I'm gonna have to pull back a little bit, um, because I don't want to hurt his feelings. Um, yeah, but we went out to eat and we went to this bar. Bar thirteen is over there by. If you take the, you could take the L, the one, two, or I think the three stop on fourteen. Or you could take the four and the five and the six. It's just that you got to do a little walk through the tunnel, through the subway. But, yeah, all of the trains that go to 14th Street will bring you to this place. Heads up, it's an eccentric place, and this man is, like, traditional man type of shit. Like, you know, like I missed that Panchichiman type of man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he like one of those. So we in there, and there's this big, person that has a beard but a, a high ponytail with a with woman clothes on i don't want to use the wrong terminology so whatever and we dancing and he looked inside he was like <laughs> mind you he's from brooklyn's and he's from the part of Brooklyn where it's like mad Caribbeans. It, if you're from New York or you're Caribbean, or you're, you know what I'm trying to say without saying it. You know how they are. So, um, but further than that, he was like, yo, I, I, I like this place or whatever, whatever. I was like, yeah, it's eccentric, whatever. But the, the music is good and the vibes is good. There's no bad energy in there. So we, we just chilling, basically. Um... And he's very gentleman-like. Like, um, I had my coat, and we did, because coat check was cash only, and neither of us had a cash on us. So, um, I had my coat, and I'm, like, holding it, but clearly I'm uncomfortable because my coat was kind of big and heavy. So, he's like, give me a coat. So, he's holding the coat, and he holds it. And I'm just, like, and I'm so used to, like, catering or pampering men that, I, I didn't even want to allow him to hold my coat because I was thinking, oh, it's going to make him uncomfortable. And he was just like, give me the coat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, are you holding my coat? And I just had to keep constantly reminding myself to stop trying to be in service all the time. Like, give service all the time. Allow someone to service you. You know what I'm saying? I'm so used to that. I'm so, my last situation, the situation before that, um, so yeah, I mean, it was small stuff like that. I mean, I, I know that's small, but it's just like you, I have to, I'm, I'm basically coaching myself. I'm not using this man as an experiment, but I'm like trying to teach myself how to relax in my feminine energy because I'm so used to having to be motherly or serve or worry about the person. And, and I'm just, I want to be able to relax. That's it. <laughs> um, and I was able to do that yesterday. Like, he had to... Like, we were going to... In between places. Like, not a whole bunch of places, but, we, you know, we went to eat. And then we were trying to decide where we were going after that. And I'm sitting there, like, taking the lead. And he kind of just had to reel me in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's like... <sighs> Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy dealing with a man who is sure of himself, who's masculine, who's who's uh, traditional or whatever, and you're used to 
men that aren't like that, basically. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, I was catching myself last night. But, yeah, he another thing he kept doing was basically, like, he was staring at me. So, I was like, <laughs> y'all know me. I'm like, what are you looking at? <laughs> um, And he just... And this happens to me a lot, and, and I'm not saying this in an arrogant way. Trust me, I'm not saying this in an arrogant way. Yeah, if you know me or you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm I'm a really down to earth person. But there's this thing where I meet men and they always feel I'm too good for them or I look too good. And it's just like, so he said something along the lines of that yesterday. And then it kind of, he it was a little bit solidified because it's like when we went when we when we was at bar 13 um there was two different guys and I, i'm not even sure if they was aware that they was doing this you know you in the club people drinking or whatever but one particular guy like kept staring at me and i didn't notice like i'm just having fun i'm dancing dancing with him i'm turning my I'm turning towards him so I could talk to him and then I'm turning back around. But every time I would turn towards him, I would notice that he was a little agitated. And finally, I was like, what's going on? He's like, this guy keeps staring at you. He was like, um, what did he say? He was like, you have to turn. He was like, you have to turn around. Like, and <laughs> That's what happens when you date an attractive person. Yes, it could be annoying that people are going to look at them or whatever, but it's just like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Like, I have to be on you all night. You know what I'm saying? So he was getting irritated and really like staring the guy down. And I'm like, oh my God, the please don't do that. <laughs> then there was another guy. This nigga was more bold than this guy. He, me and him moved to another side. Because he was just, he just, like, he kept passing by, trying to brush past, like, he was being bold, y'all. So, we move. I'm like, oh, let's move to the other side. Because I already see where the situation is going. So, I'm like, oh, let's move to the other side. Why are we moving this nigga move? <laughs> Why do we move in this nigga move with us? So, um... Yes, here I got my eyebrows and my lashes and my lipstick still on. Yeah, <laughs> of course. I go home at uh, three something in the morning. Um. So, anywho, um, yeah. So I noticed a little bit. Is that called being possessive or jealous? I don't know. I noticed that with him too, as well. And I don't know if people would see that as a red flag or not, but yeah. Um, and for that reason, I lied and told him I don't have Instagram. So, yeah, there's a red flag on me, too, because I told him I ain't got Instagram. But I told him that because I always kind of gauge whether a dude is ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a lot of followers on Instagram. My pictures aren't the most modest pictures on the planet. And it's a little bit toned down now, number one, because I haven't posted. Number two, I took some of the stuff off because I just put it on I ended up putting a lot of stuff on my only um, fans page. And I just want to, um, when I get back on, I am going to take more of those, like, bathing suit picks down. Or I'm not going to have as many or whatever, whatever. Just, just tone it down a little bit or whatever. So, I told my own guy Instagram only because I want to go on Instagram and, like, basically, you know, touch up my page. So, and not only that, because I see how he acts, you know what I'm saying? Like, he notices, he was noticing everybody that was looking at me, and I'm just like, <sighs> if I'm with a man that's attractive and somebody look at him once, I can get, I can get aggravated. I can be one of them people that like, damn, what the fuck is this bitch? But that's only after she see that I'm with the nigga or she see that I see her. And then if you do it after that, it's like now at this point you're being intentionally, like you're being disrespectful on purpose. But these dudes was like in the zone, like looking at me and they didn't even notice that he was looking at them while he was looking at me. So, um, yeah. Um, so that was him. The, 
if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, y'all gotta watch my last vlog, watch the last 10 minutes or so. Um, and I kind of gave y'all an update as to the guys that I gave my number or whatever. The, uh, the Mr. Super Black Power guy, I just haven't, he been texting me good morning. I text him good morning and then I just don't really reply after that. I could already see where that's going to go. I can, I can tell it's going to be, and he's in, of course he's Black American. I could already see where it's going to go. Like, I can tell he's going to be one of them niggas that's combative. He, he like to argue. Not like to argue, but he'll sit there and waste energy arguing with you about something. Like, basically, me and him was on the phone. Prime example. It's something small, but I noticed stuff like this. Me and him was on the phone, and I had just came from the gym. And, um... After the gym, for some reason, a lot of the times I get nauseous. I can't really eat, and you're supposed to eat something after the gym. Um, so if I do eat something, it has to be something savory. Like, so I went and got me French fries, and I got me a nutriment. The nutriment had to wait because, like I said, I get nauseous after the gym. So I usually mix my nutriment with two scoops of protein powder, and I take some creatine, and that's how I'm um, able to. That's how I do my protein shake. But I can't do it immediately after the gym. So after the gym, I went and got my nutriment to mix with my stuff. But I'm like, this is going to wait. I'm going to have my french fries with, with a little salt on it. And that'll help settle my stomach a little bit. So me and this dude is on the phone. And um, even while I'm on the phone with him, I ordered the french fries or whatever. And I told him, like, oh, the, uh, you know, I get nauseous. And that's why I'm ordering the french fries because he's into fitness too so you know these type of people you have to kind of explain yourself to when you're eating something or doing a certain exercise or whatever it's just the nature of the person whatever <laughs> so i get in the house and i'm eating the french fries that i told him that i bought and he's like you eating french fries after the gym i'm like yeah i just told you that i was buying french fries and i told you why he was like no if you could if you could stomach fried food you could stomach anything you could stomach, no, if you could stomach fried food, you could stomach healthy food. And I was like, well, tell that to my stomach. Because if I'm telling you, like, <clears throat> do niggas think you was born? Like, I'm 36 years old, bro. I know my body. I'm telling you that I get nauseous after the gym. That this is the only thing my stomach feels for right now. He's like, oh, I'm just saying, because if you could eat that, if I could eat that, then that's that's what I could eat. I'm sorry. I can't sit there and eat lettuce and tomatoes and blah, blah, blah right now at this moment. I'm not saying that I'm not going to eat that. I'm telling you that I get nauseous after the gym and I'm just trying to settle my stomach. So he's sitting there like, oh, okay, okay. He said, okay. It was little moments like that during the conversation that I said, yeah, this ain't going to be it for me. Because I'm not one of them women that, like, I'll, I'll, I'll okay you and get quiet, but that would be after I decided that you're an idiot or you lack intelligence. So initially, I will sit there and I'll, I'll have a little back and forth with you because I'm trying to gauge whether you actually know what you're talking about or not. And then after a while, if I start to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Once you hear me say, oh, okay, I think you're dumb. I don't think, I, I think you're a dumb person. Like, <laughs> that is it. Period. <laughs> so he had said something else, and I was just like, oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, he's, he's done. I'm not going to be. The chit chatting with him, but yeah, the one from last night. I don't even want to give him a name. Um, yeah, I don't even want to give him a name. Like, like I said, I like his personality. I think he's attractive. I feel like he could fix his. Uh, let me stop saying. It. Let me not say fix himself up. His nails was clean. He was well groomed. He smelled good. Nice body. Um, but I had 
he had when we were video chatting he didn't shave like his hair grows in but it's like thin up here and it's like thin in the back or whatever he clearly one of them dudes that need to be bald so when he when he had sent me a picture and he was bald i was like oh my god i love bald men y'all <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i love bald men i love rubber heads so when he sent me a picture he was bald i'm like oh you look really good like this like you know what i'm saying so i was like when you come out tonight shave your head you think he shaved his head? He did not shave his head, and then he had, so he kept his hoodie on. So he didn't even put a hat on top of it. So when I saw him and he had his hoodie on, I touched his hoodie. I could feel his hair. I said, you didn't shave your head? He's like, no, I didn't have time. And his uh, accent. <laughs> He's like, no, I didn't have time, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, fine. But now we go to bar 13, and they're like, yeah, no hoodies. And he got to take this hoodie off, and his hair looking all fucking crazy. You don't listen. So, um, yeah. So, uh, what else? Is there anything else? Of course he wanted me to go back to his house. He wasn't pushy about it. He didn't pressure me. I can just tell that he didn't really want to be out that late, but he just wanted to spend time with me. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, I'd rather spend time with you than just go home. But I prefer for you to come back to my house type of shit. And I'm not going to lie. It crossed my mind. But like I said, I'm not trying to mislead this man. I am in no position to be intimate with another man right now. Be consistently dating someone right now I, I i'm not in in any position i still be having my moments where i'm like i'm tweaked out from my last situation like even last night we were talking and doing certain things and i was i, I felt myself getting emotional at some points because it was like it it was setting in like oh i'm i'm not with this person no more like i'm really on a date with another man and it was odd it felt weird at times so, yeah, but I did, I did want to go back. That man body is <laughs> top tier. I'm talking about pecs, traps, arms, waist. He's tall. He's dark skin. I was like, bro. Do you understand? And y'all know that I just shaved my coochie. So that wasn't helping. Because you know, once that happens, you be ready to look. Look at my look at my pussy, y'all. It's bald. <laughs> you want to show people. <laughs> so, um, yeah, clearly I went over the time. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's what happened last night. I figured I'd tell you. I'll give you an update. But I'm behaving myself, y'all. So, please. Bear with me, um, and I'll be back.